Hi, everybody. I'm going to solve worksheet 4A for you. I really recommend that you try to do worksheet 4A before you watch this video. Even if you can't do it, it's always good to have at least tried it, tried to think about possibilities. That's how you expand your ability to solve any kind of problem. If you try and fail, it's better than not trying at all. It says locate the tip of a one link robot of 10 inch length as a 2D position vector with a direction of 30 degrees. First thing we're, we're gonna do is we are going to draw that and we're gonna draw a vector that is 10 inches long and this is 30 degrees. Draw the position vector, which is actually what we just did. And we wanna find its X and Y components. Again, this is not much different than what we have been doing in trigonometry because if I want to find the X value, or if I want to find the Y value, this is just right triangle trigonometry. So I can say that the sine of 30 degrees is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is equal to the opposite, the opposite is Y, because we're going opposite of the 30 degrees divided by 10. And then I already know what the sine of 30 degrees is. I know the sine of 30 degrees is one half and one half is gonna equal Y over 10. And then I multiply both sides by 10 and get Y equals five. So let me just write this in case I confused anybody by just saying it and not doing it. So this cancels and you can see that's 10 over two, which is five. And then I can say, well, the cosine of 30 degrees is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is equal to X over 10. And we know that cosine of 30 degrees is the square root of three over two equals x over 10. So x is equal to, again, I'm going to multiply both sides by 10. I can cancel the 10 with the 2 and get a 5. So I get x is equal 5 times the square root of 3. That's what exactly what I was asked for. We actually know the x and y com components so I can say X is five times the square root of three, and I can say Y is five. This point out here is also write P in both rectangular and polar form. Rectangular But in rectangular, the X direction is a vector, it's the unit vector. I really wanna put it into a form with I's and J's. I's are in the X direction, J's are in the Y direction. I can say vector P is equal to five times the square root of three I plus five J. And that would be its rectangular form. The way I do polar is R comma theta. The solution sheet that I have has it in a little different form. I'm not quite sure why, but I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep to R comma theta for, for polar. And so my R is actually the same as my hypotenuse, or if it was in a circle, my radius whatever you want to call it, R is going to be 10 and theta is 30 degrees. We actually knew that before we started. That's really all there is to this problem.